Hey guys, this is Daniel here with TerraCraft Outdoors. We're at uh, Overland Expo Mountain West and we're going to go ahead and walk you through some of the features of the Outpost. Um, so at TerraCraft we make these trailers and uh, we'll start from the front and kind of work our way back and go through some of the features. So at the front here we have a removable hitch coupler so you can actually pull this pin and pull it out and this comes right out for security purposes if you want to leave camp and you want to leave your trailer behind this is great for that um, we offer a uh, off-road articulating hitch as well as a standard hitch and those just slide into place here in the same uh, two inch hitch coupler so moving our way back we have our tongue box here um, on the outside it's it's a massive storage space for all of your gear you can put camping gear you can put you know trash whatever you need to haul around it's a great spot for that it's ample amount of storage um, on the sides here, we have our, our running boards and fenders. So these uh, are a kind of multi-use thing, but the main reason is they offer a great way to get onto the roof as well as uh, offer body protection for the vehicle if you're going down some rough roads. Uh, those, are, those are great for that. We have uh, full running, uh, running lights all around the trailer. Moving up kind of in this area, we have our extra wide doors. These come with uh, insulated window covers as an option. And these also open and have uh, bug screens and can be fully open to allow air, air flow through the trailer. Uh, on the roof, we have a max fan. So uh, that's perfect for having these open and it, it really helps cycle air through there when it's, when it's really hot outside. Uh, the rooftop tent is a uh, CVT. Um, that is an, also an option and that mounts to our uh, Rhino Rack roof uh, system and there's many options that come with that as well. Uh, coming on back we have standard uh, all-terrain tires and steel wheels. Um, these come standard on all outposts and they're great for trail for trails and uh, any any place you can go really. Um, they are 28 inches and we can accommodate up to a 31 inch wheel as well. Uh, we have timber and axle suspension for the suspension and we've had great experiences with that. The ride quality is really, really great and uh, it's, it's perfect for our application here. The fenders and the running boards are all step rated so you can step up on them and get up on the roof and it's a, it's a super durable paint finish as well. So in the back of the outpost, this is our galley. Uh, this uh, swings up on these, on these hinges, locks into place down below. Uh, inside the galley we have on a, on a locking drawer slide here. Uh, standard is a Yeti cooler, but there is the option to upgrade to an electric fridge that runs off the vehicle's electrical system. Um, in the middle here, we have ample amount of storage for pots, pans, cooking utensils, and these are all, these are uh, great size, so you can fit all sorts of things in there. Uh, we also have here, we have featured our oven, uh, which is from Camp Chef. Uh, this is an optional upgrade, but standard, we have a, uh, just a straight up stovetop. And then underneath here, if you don't get that, there's uh, room for more storage. Uh, on, on the inside of the galley here, we have these uh, walkthrough cupboards here. And so those are great for storing food, storing utensils, storing pots, pans, whatever you need to. And you can access it from both inside and outside the trailer. Uh, the front plating here is all aluminum plated. This is for look and also for durability. They're super durable and very easy to clean. Uh, on the countertop here, we have a stainless steel food grade countertop. So it's great for, for meal prep or anything, anything you want to do there. Down at the base of the trailer here, we have our rear leveling jacks. These are great for leveling out the ground uh, when sleeping or just when you're at camp and you don't want to be on uneven ground. It, it helps uh, a lot. This is kind of our propane system location. So the propane connects to the whatever cooking feature you have back here, as well as it's wired into the trailer so that it can reach the propane heater, uh, which heats the entire cab when you're in cold weather. Uh, on the side here, this is the hot water heater slash shower. And this is uh, an option as well that's featured in this steel enclosure. So this is closes when you're on the road um, and it hooks up to our water access down here below. So it's a fully pressurized water system. There's a 26 gallon tank mounted up underneath the frame of the trailer. Um, you, we have these quick disconnect ports down here. So you just plug them in and uh, turn on the water pump here. And then you have pressurized water for any time you're at camp. And to fill, you just, there's a, a quick connect that you plug into here. It's mates to any garden hose connection. So welcome to the uh, interior cab of the outpost. So um, this features a custom queen size mattress. This mattress is 78 inches long. And so it, it's just a couple inches short of a normal queen. Um, moving to the front of the trailer here, we have our custom cot. This is an option. It's great for small uh, children or dogs. And it's easy to store. You basically just pull up on it and it just rolls right into place. If you don't want to use it, and it just stores right up there, or you can just take it out completely and remove it if uh, you don't have any use for it. 
Um, on the front here, we have two small sh shelves underneath if you're uh, sleeping with the head of the bed up on this side rather than down that way. Um, and then also we have these uh, dual USB charging on either side of the trailer. Uh, so moving up towards this way, uh, we have our large storage cubby here in the middle. Uh, this can function as a storage place or as a desk if you want to use it in that way. And this actually folds up and stores at a place with a locking nut right there. And then it just drops down and stores like that if you want it kind of in cabinet mode. Uh, there's more storage down here at the bottom. And then these are the interior of those pass-through cubbies that we looked at, at the, uh, on the exterior of the galley. Uh, there's a really large storage shelf up here on the top. Uh, we internally refer to it as the attic, but it's a great, super large. You can kind of just throw things up there that you don't want to be kind of down in your living space. On the left side over here, this is kind of our control panel. So at the top here, we have the Propex heater. Uh, this is the propane uh, mounted heater and this has a kind of thermostat control so at nighttime you set the temperature just like you would at your house and it'll maintain the temperature in the cab all night long. Uh, right below here we have our sort of you can click through the metrics of your solar. Uh, this is a Bluetooth enabled system so you can check everything from a smartphone app as well. And then down here is lastly the switch for the inverter it's just an on off switch and there's a normal house outlet right here to plug in anything you might need. Uh, charging from from a house outlet and lastly over here we have two controls these are this is the dimmable light switch there's LED lights on the ceiling here and then outside there this is the switch for the floodlight on the outside of the cab and that just can really brighten everything up at nighttime all right thank you guys so much for joining me on the tour of the outpost uh, you can visit our website at terracraftoutdoors.com our Instagram handle is also terracraftoutdoors and same with our Facebook thanks so much